Hey guys, uh, just editing a um, bit of the options. Music volume all the way up. Sound effects volume halfway up. You know why? Because the music in this game is fantastic. Anyway. Here we are on day number three, and we are heading into the Forest of Hope. In the last episode of Happy Plays Pikmin, we landed here. We crash landed and spent a couple days, you know, trying to fix the ship. Because we are an everyday spaceship mechanic. Okay. I'm just going to pluck all these guys real quick, because I'm going to need them. I mean, there's 45 Pikmin out right now. That's ridiculous. Okay, let's see. What else am I going to need to do? I'm going to need to grab some yellows over by where the yellow... See, because every pl every onion has an initial um, find, uh, I guess, spot where it was originally, and then at, um, all subsequent days they are in base. So I'm just going to go grab the yellows because there's something the yellows can need to get to help, you know, spread them. Also, um, Pikmin can, you know, mature into their flower shape naturally, as seen here. I think it's quicker if they're underground or sprouted and stuff, so... I guess that's benefits to keeping your Pikmin underground. I really just... it's, like, it's ridiculous. You might as well use nectar. Um, anyway, as I said, we're going to try and get... As I said in the last episode, we're going to try and get three ship parts today. They're actually all pretty close together. So that's pretty good and convenient. Um, let's see. We need eight Pikmin for what we're going to do. Oh, well, we only had two more. Um, yellows, I really don't see the, ne the um, necessity in flowering them. I mean, yes, it makes them quicker, but, like, yellows are going to be only used for, like, blowing up stuff. I mean, there's a couple of times when they're needed. But, like, not really. I mean, there's, like, one time when the yellows actually fight something. Also, I don't know if I really explained it in the last episode, but the whole, um, seasick throwing thing, that's, you, you, um, you throw quicker at the Pikmin or, you know, just kind of swarming you, compared to, I, I'm mashing the button as hard as I usually do, and, you know, so, I mean, there is a difference, you guys can tell, right? I, I hope you guys can tell. Anyway, we're going to try and get these guys up to flowers. Oh, you yellows don't need to be flowers. In fact, it's probably wasteful. No offense, yellows. You're just our bombers. Okay, well... Actually, I think we are going to need about ten yellows for the day. Oh, I could have planned that better. Also, um, it was stated in the... Yesterday... Uh, yesterday in-game, but you know. If I say, if I reference days, it's going to be in-game days. But it was stated yesterday that, um, if there's 100 Pikmin on the field, um, no more can be sprouted, but they'll be, they'll still be in the onion. That's actually very convenient, as you don't have to pluck them all, which, you know, gets kind of annoying and time-consuming. I want to get about 10 yellow Pikmin currently. Yeah, 10's a good number. And I'm going to fill up the rest of the party with reds. 83 Pikmin? Oh, I don't have any more Pikmin. That's not good. Not good at all. If I can't fill up my entire squad with 100 Pikmin. My gosh. Oh, um, another thing I didn't mention. Red Pikmin are kind of the neutral Pikmin, but they're also one of the best because they are um, stronger in battle. They, they are like, um, basically they are 150 times, no, not 150 times. They have, are 1.5 times stronger than any other co color of Pikmin. I'm gonna give that to the reds actually because you really need like 100 reds and I don't have 100 reds. And the rest of you guys are going to break down this bridge. Or, well. And it's dark. You know. 
so it's going to take a lot longer. And if I had any spare bomb rocks yesterday, I would have um, blown it up, but I didn't. Oh, um, real quick, I think I'm gonna try and check this out. If I can pull out seven more red yellows, I don't have to pluck any red pigment. And I can take these 13 and put them back. There we go. You guys can go back and work on the bridge. I always call this a bridge. It's a gate. My gosh. Tear down the gate. Tear down the gate. Thank you. Stubborn Pikmin. Yeah. Honestly, think a lot of times. I mean, this game was pretty cutting edge. Um, you know, just software wise. But the Pikmin AI is like really bad and annoying and, you know, at times very annoying at times. Wow, I'm being very, very redundant today, you know. Redundant, redundant, redundant. Anyway, enough with me being annoying. Let me actually get back to gameplay. Actually, I need, oh, I was just about to say, I, I was going to kill some time by, um, Singing about how we're tearing down that gate, down that gate, down that gate, and now I can't anymore. Maybe maybe we'll tear down another gate and we'll sing the tearing down the gate song. Which sounds a lot like another song. I just can't put my finger on what song that, that sounds like. I don't, you know, I, we'll never know. Okay, are you going to be in any trouble to us? If so, we are going to kill you first! Oh, he woke up, he woke up! Ah, run guys, run, run! Run guys, run! Oh no! Someone died! No! Don't you dare! Oh, I hate you! Kill him dead, kill him dead, kill him dead. Dead, 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 kill him. Thank you! That was pitiful. Okay, um, everything goes to the red side, I think. Let me see. We have... 630... Everything needs to go to the reds. We've got plenty of yellows for it right now. Oh! Also, um, there's a ship part right there. Let me see. Do I have enough? Oh, not that many. Not that many. There we go. Ten. Take a minute carrying it. Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> 70. I still have 70 Pikmin. Um, that's gonna be plenty to carry this ship part back. This is. I found the Nova Blaster. This emits a dazzling burst of light capable of destroying almost anything. I'm not exactly sure about it, but promotional brochure claims that it can blast. Its blast can travel in the current of space time, smashing through stars and into rifts of space. He must not have had it set to phase or whatever it is when he was getting hit in the head with a meteor. Maybe he didn't have it set to blast. Or maybe he didn't have it set to on. I don't know. But it does seem... I mean... Obviously, I'm not gonna... I mean, there's a bunch of, you know, flaws in Nintendo logic at times. Did I lose that many yellows? I only have four... Oh, I have 32 in the onion. I have four with me. That, that does not seem... like That does not seem good at all. I must have lost a bunch of yellows in there. I only have three right now. I need, like... I need nine bombs, and I only have three. Oh, gosh, and it's already... Real quick, guys, I'm just going to say this. You may not be seeing this entire day. If you're hearing this this clip at the beginning of the episode, you're definitely not hearing this day. Um, I'm just going to say it. I'm, you know, not too proud to reset the game if I need to, to stay on target with my um, regular playthrough of the game. And I will reset if I have to. Oh, there's where everyone went. So if I can't get all the ship parts back in the necessary time, I will reset. And I'm not ashamed. So yes. I'm not too proud to reset the game and do the entire episode all over again.
Simply put. Does that make me cheap? Yes, it does. Uh, does this make it a little less entertaining? Probably, but I'm going to definitely do a blooper reel. It would just be a crime not to. Okay, let me get everyone situated. Better. Ah, these reds seem to love me for some reason. Oh my gosh, stop. Stay away from me! You are not yellow! Ah, uh, Pikmin racism. Oh my gosh! For gosh sakes, I'm going to reset the day. Pikmin AI! But yeah, it, it would be it would be an absolute crime not to do blooper reels. Especially if I'm going to fail really, really bad. Anyway. There we go, 10 bombs. Let's run. Oh, this is going to be really, really close. Not to mention the whole place is scattered with enemies. And it's going to just be, like, really annoying. Oh, gosh. Okay, so break down this wall. Any cost, I'm going to break down the wall. Well, killed some Pikmin in the process, but killed a few of the enemies. Those are Sheer Grubs. Sheer Grubs. Oh, gosh. I'm doing really bad and killing a bunch of Pikmin in the process. And I really hate to be a jerk about it, but sometimes it's going to be kind of necessary just to keep up with the flow. Anyway, those are Sheer Grubs. Only the purple ones are going to hurt you. Um, the white ones deal no damage. Also, would not recommend swarming Pikmin, because usually, if you swarm a P Pikmin around it, it is going to die. One, at least one Pikmin is going to die. No, not yet, I guess. Um, actually, I might be able... Also, I, I... I was... Oh my gosh, I thought, like, I lost them for some reason. Like, they were phasing through the ground. That was weird. Okay. And I always thought this day to be pretty boring, but, oh, oops, that's just flavor text, it doesn't matter anyway. Okay, yeah, um, both the ship parts are going back at a pretty reasonable pace. Okay, we're good. I almost freaked out and did my whole discussion about resetting for nothing. Um, you carry that back. Not an MLG. Anyway, the whole reason about my, um... Okay, where are the bombs? I really should be giving that to yellow since I've, like, basically murdered the yellow Pikmin. In fact, I will. Here, yellows. No, red Pikmin. Oh, look. Oh. That's, a, that's also something that's kind of weird. Um, in cutscene mode, it will render the Pikmin, but it will not render an item if they're carrying it. So you've got, like, those, like, guys that are just kind of Rushing to tag each other or something. Look, they're just, they're just um... Still. Anyway, here's a mini cutscene just to tell me that my ship can now go to another area. Okay, um... Oh no, I don't want that to happen. I want yellow Pikmin to carry that. Where are my yellows? My yellows. Not my reds. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're good when it comes down to actually... Okay, whimsical radar. This important part can detect the location of other missing parts. Radar, blah 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 blah, just tell me how to use it. I'm also sorry I'm skipping a lot of the text, guys. It's just like one of those force of habit things where, you know, you've always skipped the text because they're annoying and you've read them before and, you know... It's... It may take away from the viewing experience, and I do apologize. I really want to make these higher in quality and not, you know, just me rambling on about, you know, random stuff. And then sometimes just staying, staying silent throughout the entire video. I exaggerate, of course, but you know what I mean. So, 
I also wanted to update my audio quality, but like, I just can't find anything that's in my budget. Or reasonably in my budget, I should say. Um, also, by the way, this can... Uh, basically, th there's where all the pick the other shit parts are. And also, oh, ooh, this is gonna be quick. Come on, guys. So these um, pellets, since they're going to the yellow onion, will only give me one instead of two. That's basically what I was trying to say yesterday, but didn't get it out right. Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Oh yes, I was talking about quality. Yeah, I just can't find any good like microphones yet that are just in my reasonable price range. And it's kind of frustrating. I'm gonna try um, using audio programs to just like take out all the excess sound. I'm going to try and do that for this Let's Play. Hopefully it'll sound a bit better. Oh, come on, got that. Um, as for video quality, I really don't think it needs to... There we go. Okay. Also, um, go to sunset. Where we can just basically skip the rest of the time in the day and go to sunset. <laughs> anyway, um, I honestly don't think the video quality needs to be updated too much. Not to mention, if I tried to, it would cost me a good 100 to 200 dollars. Which is just simply out of my price range at the moment. Where were they? Were they in base? I hope they were in base. No Pikmin left behind. Thank goodness. Anyway, so I honestly don't think the quality needs to be updated much. The video anyway. Audio I really want to update just because I'm seriously recording off my phone. And it's kind of ridiculous. And, you know, complete quality, like, also visual quality. I'm adding thumbnails to the videos, all that kind of fun stuff. So I feel like I'm stepping up in the Let's Play world a little bit in the way of quality. So maybe I can get a couple more views here and there. Anyway, three days since impact back on topic. I now add Yellow Pikmin to my list of discoveries. What? These creatures can wield bomb rocks, so perhaps I can use them to blast rock walls down. Okay, that's interesting. What did I get yesterday? I can't even remember what they talked about yesterday. 17 losses in battle to just bull borbs. That is ridiculous. I mean, I guess I should expect myself to play a little bit poorly, just because I'm trying to talk and strategize at the same time so I mean I'm going it's going to be a little bit decrease in quality on, of gameplay but uh, perhaps I should post commentate or I could just post commentate a professional play anyway tomorrow and tomorrow's episode of happy place Pikmin we will be going to the forest naval where we will be collecting some ship parts there Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, you can like, comment, and subscribe if you want to support the video. Completely optional. But, you know, if you want to support Happy and Happy Gaming Inc., I would highly suggest it. And that's all I've got to say about that. So, thanks for watching, and tune in next time where we will tackle the Force Naval. Goodbye.